equipment stored off. Perfect. Nice job, Candorus. You keep getting us out of jams like this, and there might be a place for you in the Republic Army, even if you are a Mandalorian. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of that. We better get moving. I could... Surprise and secrecy will serve a... Count me in, then. It's a good idea. The three of Don't you We'll meet you I need to get everything from here. I wonder if it'll re equip me here. That'd be nice if it did. But it may not. Of course it didn't re-equip me. It even took my Pazak cards. That's unbelievable. Oh, they're all wearing their proper gear. That's good. I think those are the better ones. Those gloves. Can't use one of those. I think I went with the reflex. Yeah, that's what I had on. one and so many so many lightsabers in my ba in my bags there we go she's got all her gear on Karth has pretty got much got nothing because I took it all off of him let's see And that blaster and that blaster. There we go. Give this guy like crappy gear. Really doesn't matter. Okay. I need to go back to that one box that I uh, didn't loot. So I didn't want to bash it with Candorous. Which way was that thing? It's down this way. I hate destroying stuff that I can get. On it. Done. And it wasn't really worth it. Damn it. Ah, oh, whatever. To the bridge we go. is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we Perfect. figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry. We'll figure out a plan to take care of them. 
They should. Uh, and I imagine they will. Because it's just extra money they can gain, right? Like, if people don't actually have it, it's an extra, like, 15, 20 bucks just for them to, like, make some simple uh, code changes and stuff like that. It's well worth it. Yeah, exactly, so if they're willing to do it for uh, this one, like, I imagine they'll do it for the second one. It only makes sense, right? It's just a bunch of, like, um... Changing of, uh... It's minimal changes for them in order for them to get it to work. Aspect ratios, and that's about it. That soon? Maybe. It was last last month that they released this one for the Xbox, so maybe. Or they'll release it with the the next lull and like whatever they're releasing or something. That was going to be a little bit surprising if I got, couldn't open that door. Ooh. I got a space suit. Lots of stuff in this room. Heavy armor. Nice. On it. Done. Must explore every inch of this place. There's a lot to explore. Hey. Is it really a master? I don't seem all that strong. Um... Out of those ones, I'd probably pick Shadow of War myself. Just 
Just because I'd enjoy more of that right now. Just playing through uh, story modes and such. It seems like a lot of fun to me right now. I know I'll be uh, buying uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-order that. That looks like a lot of fun to me. Yes, it does. On it. Done. Yes, it does. I haven't. On it. Damn. I haven't touched anything with a uh, cod in years now. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It's um. It's a side-scrolling based uh, fighting game, kind of like, um, I don't know, like, Street Fighter kind of thing, but not really, because it's a different kind of genre of game. It's more along the lines of uh, Guilty Gear if you've ever played both that. It's not likely, though. Yeah. Well, that's, that's if you're into the multiplayers and you're into shooters, too. Right? Like, I'll play Overwatch just because just it doesn't feel too much like, uh... Oh, you like Xenoverse, too? It's not quite like that. Um... I'd say it's closer to uh, the Tenkaichi games, if you ever played those. As far as combat and stuff goes inside of it. It's not that 3D based combat. I, I find it interesting because the uh, fighting game, no, I don't have a reason to buy an Xbox One X. I don't have a 4K TV, so there's there's really no one, no reason for me to get an Xbox One X. Yes? Yeah, like if I had a 4K TV, then I'd think about it. But as is right now, uh -huh. I'm here. No. It'd be just a waste of my money if I did. Yeah, exactly. I don't need to upgrade mine yet. There hasn't been any good reason for me to do it yet. Like, I was thinking of, uh, doing it with the PlayStation Pro, but then I was like, I don't even need that one either. <laughs> 